Good morning world, welcome back to another vlog and right now I just woke up and I ate breakfast right now it's time, the time is 9.47 a.m. I'm kind of tired but since school is starting in like four days I gotta be used to waking up at 7 a.m. because the school starts at 8 so I shouldn't be tired but right now I'm not exceedingly tired, but I'm like right there tired. Like I'm like at 90% tired since I used to wake up at like 10 o'clock. But you know, that's how it is. I got to wake up at 7. And right now, you know, I got to get the finishing touches on the homeworks. And the reason why my hair is puffy is you already know I just woke up. So... This is like the earliest video I've taken because like my parents are home. Anyone's here, so anyone's not here, so yeah, here's the day going. Right now I'm doing this study guide. I'm reading over it. So I'll see you when I'm done with the study guide. Nah, I'm joking. I'm still here. The YouTube magic isn't YouTube magic. You actually have to do something in order to do the YouTube editing skills. But, guys, I'm so tired. It's kind of hot right now because you already know this. Today's gonna go over 100 degrees. And I don't know. I don't know if I can film like today. So, I don't know. I'm gonna hand off to around like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. So, see you there. Nope. I'm back though. I gotta talk about one more thing. You already know to tomorrow is the first preseason game. Well today is like today Thursday is like where like seven games happen and then tomorrow is the first Niners preseason game. And tomorrow is the first Premier League game. Like I love soccer. You already know the football itself is called soccer, so soccer is like an art. Football is an act where audience see the act of football. That's why it's called the beautiful game. And tomorrow, the first game, Arsenal against Leicester City. I don't know. Right now, my prediction for top four is Men United, Chelsea, Tottenham, and Man City. And then the last two spots, top six, is going to be um, Liverpool and Arsenal. That's my that's my top six prediction, but I might be wrong. But, like, I love soccer. The reason why Man United is going to win is they brought in some good players. They brought in quality players that can make the team better with the European competition that's coming up since they won the Europa League last year. So they're going to play. They're gonna be playing in the Champions League against the big boys. But the manager, Jose Mourinho, is used to all that. He's been playing league and champions league all the time so he's under all the pressure he knows how to handle the starting 11 well so he's not just playing all the starters he might be benching players since the champions league's coming up the reason why soccer is really like fun and it's the beautiful game is because the world play it's the universal sport and the champions league itself it unites the whole european continent so like that's important, like all the like Italy league, English league, like Germany German leagues, Spanish leagues, like all come together and play for a title. That's what's important, and that's why it's fun to watch. So yeah, that's my top six prediction, and I, I kind of like Man United because like that's the team that I've watched over the years. So yeah. And not tomorrow is the first preseason game. I'm excited because the defensive coordinator said that he's ready to battle. That means he's going to play all those rookies, especially Ruben Foster, filling up the linebacker role that we didn't have last year. So I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm Overall, I'm just excited. I can't wait until September. But right now, it's got to be school, bro. School is number one. I got to read all this. Prepare for the first day exams and stuff. Guys, like, it's just boring. I can't wait until I graduate and just be in like this situation all the time. 
So now I'm gonna send it to 4 a.m. of me or 5, no, not 4 a.m., 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. So see you later. Wait for one thing. You know this cappuccino that I have right here? You know, just an old cappuccino, but if you look at it inside, it's damn purple. Why is coffee purple? It's damn coffee, I don't understand. You know what, that's like interesting that I have. Interesting thing that I have. Oh, I'm back. Right now it's 3.30. That's probably like around like 8 hours, bro. That's like first time in YouTube history. 8 hours, 8 hours. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You got beef? You got beef? That's just a wood. Alright, I jumped 8 hours in 1 second. That's in the YouTube history. That never happened before. Huh? Oh, that's not a great accomplishment, but uh, I don't know why I did that, but okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to talk about. This is insane. Uh, I'm back out here. See, like I had the time free at home, but now I'm out here grinding day-to-day -day basis people consistency is what's important about this vlog life you gotta post every day you gotta vlog every day you gotta be a savage because I'm not allowed to film here you know why I'm not allowed to even film in the first place but I'm doing it I'm using my time to film around here yeah I know you can hear me I don't care about what anybody says. Well, I kind of do, but... Because I never had any guests on this vlog channel, bro. Because, you know, I'm not allowed to film. If this gets too many views... Actually, I want many views, but, like, I don't know if... It, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Putting guests here? I don't know. I don't know. I might do that. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'll do that when I graduate, or probably like, I don't know. If I step up and do it, if this gets too many views, my parents will figure out that it's gonna be on the trending page. Only you guys can do that. I'm not the force here, you guys are force. So if you can make it to the trending channel, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. My parents would actually be happy about it. But right now, I don't want that. I don't wanna get in trouble. Again, I already got in trouble like two months ago about this, and I got beasted and feasted. As an Asian parent, you already know you get there are so many stereotypes, and they're actually true. It's not fake; they're real. All those, well, like it's not that aggressive, but they're actually like kind of aggressive. It's not over, but it's like right on the line. Yeah, bro. So today is the first day, first full day. A preseason week one first final first step to the regular season bro there are a lot of games but still not the Niners game Niners game is tomorrow I can't wait right now and you guys know the school starts on the 14th of August I'm kind of depressed but that's how it is I want the time to go fast you know some people always say I want to go back to the childhood but no, I don't. I want to get out of this childhood fast. I want to be 18, 19, 20 and live my own life. I want to live my own life. I want to do what I want. What I want. I can't be like breaking laws, but I want to do what I want. What I feel like. And right now I'm just stuck here. With this old tires, tables and trucks. And this heat, this fire. How you doing, son? See what I did there? Sun. Like the sun, actual sun. <laughs> you know, I should, I, should, I should just quit. But anyways, this, I come across, I came across this topic on YouTube. You already know, I watch YouTube all the time. I went to the ESPN page. And there's this one video that's very controversial. So ESPN has this one one 
show called First Take where there are three people like discussing like the most controversial topics that's happening in US like is channel one the greatest youtuber of all time <laughs> get it because I'm this channel is channel one and yeah 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 you get it I, th I think you get it um, no they talk about sports the most controversial topics that's happening in the US mainly like NFL NBA and like football basically and this man I'm not gonna plug his name because I don't want to put it in the public but this man talks about he dares the public he dared me something so I'm gonna do that I'll show you guys a clip of what he said it's blasphemy that this could come out of somebody's mouth that you could call this man overrated with his level of production whoever did that should be ashamed of themselves and they should put their name on it I dare anybody anybody associated with college football to publicly state Nick Saban is overrated so the world could tell them how idiotic they truly truly are I'll basically summarize what he said he basically says what he was talking about is Nick Saban the college football head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide football team is he overrated and he at Nick Saban is actually pretty good he won 119 games and only lost 19 and he's Stephen A said oh I just plugged this name but he basically said he dares anyone to say Nick Saban is overrated in front of the public so you guys know this is public I'm putting it on public YouTube channel I'm basically gonna say it you know what Stephen A Nick Saban is overrated oh. Oh! yeah so what you gonna do bring me up pull my name on the show I dare you to do that. If you don't, then you a punk. Oh. <laughs> but whatever, guys. I'm gonna have to say this. What was this? What was this? Oh, like and subscribe. You already know. This is gonna be daily shit right now. Daily. Well, my editing skills aren't good, but I can make it good. But well, I just don't have time to do it because of how many classes I'm taking, the, how, the, the strength, the hardness of the class. So, yeah, one thing, like and subscribe. That's both together. So you can't just subscribe. You can't just like this video. You got to like and subscribe. Because you already know I'm going to be the fastest growing channel. I want to be the best YouTuber of all time. I want to break that. I have big dreams. As say as it says on my Twitter account, if you want to follow me there at channel one, but it says I'm just a young kid with big dreams. I got big dreams and I'm willing to put all my efforts into it. So please subscribe to this channel and see you later. See you tomorrow. Peace.